Occupied City was the most difficult book I've ever written. The books actually get harder to write, and I think that is a good thing, actually. I mean, I, I suppose I kind of imagined it would get easier as, as, t as time went on, that I'd get kind of better at it, I suppose, but, but obviously not, and the books seem to get more difficult to write. And I, I, actually, to be honest, I think that's a good sign. I think if it was easy, I must be doing something wrong. I'd be kind of, and there was a period when I finished Occupy, uh, when I finished Tokyo Year Zero, I began to straight away write Occupied City. And it was very much, you know, I mean, I know there's a lot of repetition in my work anyway, but this was even, you know, this was even for me slightly too repetitious. So um, I, um, I stopped and um, I really wanted to kind of, I suppose, challenge myself more than, more than, than just repeating what I'd already done. Um, but to, but to answer the question about the research, um, one problem with the one problem with Occupied City, and it was a bit the same with GB84, in that with GB84, the book about the miners' strike, there was very there was just seemingly an endless amount of things you could read and research, and it was difficult to know when to stop the research. And I found the same with Occupied City. This case. Um, is, is, is kind of a core celebre in, in Tokyo. It's still, um, it's still something that is often the subject of TV documentaries because the man who was convicted of it uh, was sentenced to death, but he was kept on death row for the entirety of his, and he died of natural causes on death row. Um, and many people still think that he was perhaps innocent and other people are adamant that he was guilty and so is this kind of and there is, a, there is a campaign to posthumously clear his name. So the case is still quite a live issue. And there's many, many conspiracy theories surrounding the case. Some people believe the Americans were involved in it. Some people believe the Russians were involved in it. Um, the motivations of the actual crime seem unclear. It's a very, very kind of um, complex crime. And one of, the, one of the things that's often linked to it is the... Is the um, Japanese Chemical Warfare Unit 731 um, and again there's endless amounts of material available on, on the things that this Chemical Warfare Unit did in China during the war um, and, and, I, and I, I think there were definitely times in when I became overwhelmed by the research um, both the content of it and the amount of it um, and um, and, and I struggled really to find a way, again, like with GB84, a way to kind of, you know, it was it was hard to kind of find the, the right voices to, to, to carry the, to, 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 I mean, I felt that a lot of the things I was reading and researching were important, but it was it was difficult to like find the kind of, the, the, the way to, to, to use them, use the information in a narrative. Uh, but luckily, um, you know, again, I went back to basics, I suppose, and one of my very favourite, um, well, I suppose my favourite author is the Japanese writer Akuta Gawa. And I think for, 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 for Europeans, he's probably best known as the, as the uh, because of the Kurosawa film Rashomon, um, which is, Rashomon is actually based on, 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 on two of his short stories, the, the Rashomon story and in a grove, and in the story in a grove, Akutagawa uses six different voices to tell the story of of of, of a rape and murder, and um, and I shamelessly borrowed that um, for 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 Occupied City.